Well, good afternoon. Brian here, one of the pastors at Faith Community Church, and I just want to take a few minutes of your time today just to kind of continue the conversation that Pastor Josh started with us on Sunday in our Sunday School Stories series. And man, if you say that fast, you're going to get a tongue twister. It's going to mess you up pretty quick. Uh, but in that, Pastor Josh this past Sunday talked about Joshua and the walls of Jericho. And I would encourage you to check out our YouTube page at Faith Community and just dive into that message because there was so much. It was a great message. But I want to take just a little bit of your time today and again, talk about just the three takeaways that he offered us on Sunday, which is submission to God, obedience to him and his word and praise. I think those three things, man, they sound so simple when you really say them, but to put them in action can be some of the most difficult things in our lives, regardless of what we're facing or going through. Uh, often we want to do things our own way. And so sub to submit to God or to submit to a plan, and as we heard on Sunday, uh, sometimes it can be a ridiculous seeming plan, um, but ultimately God knows what he's doing and he desires to uh, see us live our best lives. And so I think that idea of submitting to God uh, is so powerful. And I would just challenge you today really with this question. Uh, have you submitted to God? Have you submitted your life, your will, uh, your struggles to Him? Because oftentimes, even in my own life, I have found that I am quick to just try and solve it on my own, quick to try and pick up uh, whatever failure, whatever struggle that I seem to be going through and make my own plan and, and drive to try and just solve the issues. And it's never been helpful. I, I've learned over the years, the best first thing I can do is just go to God and go, God, you are the leader of my life. You are the one that orchestrates and moves me. And so what do I need to do here? And that would be my first question is, is maybe you're facing something. Maybe there's a struggle in your life or a wall that's crept up in your life. Have you taken the time to go to God and go, what do you want to do? What do you want me to do? Let me submit my will, my thoughts, my attitude to you today, Jesus, and ask you what steps do you want me to take? And then I think the second part to that obedience is, man, super, super difficult. We love to use obedience uh, if you have kids with our kids to tell them, hey, you need to obey me. Uh, but when it comes to putting it in practice with God, it becomes extremely difficult because oftentimes he asks us to do some things that may seem a little odd or a little uncomfortable for us. And and that word can be so challenging. And so I would just ask you, when's the last time you've been obedient? What was the last thing God told you to do? Have you done it? Uh, or are you still in the process of doing it? When's the last time you really just stepped out and said, okay, God, I know you're asking me to do this. I'm not even going to really think about it or question it. I'm just going to step out in faith knowing that you're going to meet me in the process. I think obedience is a beautiful thing. And when we get down to the place where we can say, God, whatever you ask of me, I'm going to do, we can see amazing breakthrough. And then I think that final part of praise is, is so challenging for us because it's really, really easy to focus on the negative. I mean, after all, if we're honest, if we look on social media and throughout the news, most times, more often than not, it's the negative that is reported. We hear of negative, and I think it's really, really easy to be critical on ourselves and our situations and see the negative in our own lives. And so it becomes that much harder to offer praise, to begin to thank God for who He is and what He's done, remembering how He's brought us through times in our lives or difficulties in our lives, or even praising Him for what He's done in others' lives so that we no, he's also working in our lives. I think those things can be such a challenge for us, but I think if those three things we put into practice can be just instrumental in allowing us to see victory and breakthrough in our lives, much like we got to see in the story of the walls of Jericho, God brings and offers ultimate victory. He's already accomplished the victory for us. I think it's when we begin to walk in these three facets that we find that victory and we discover what it is that he is really doing in our lives. And so I would just leave you with this today is, is maybe start with the praise. 
Um, I think you have to be submitted to God. I mean, and I would, I would challenge you one, if you're not submitting your life to God, maybe that's where you should start because that's important. But if you're a Christ follower and you've been walking with him, I would encourage you to begin the process of, of praise. And I think when you begin to praise, obedience can become a natural thing out of that. But my question for you, and maybe you can comment it below, but what are you thanking God for today? Um, I would love to hear it. I'd love to see uh, what God's been doing in your life and just begin to offer him praise. Even if it's just, hey, God, I love that my flowers are blooming in my garden and I want to praise you for being the creator of such beautiful and wonderful things in nature. Start there. It can be a beautiful thing. And I would encourage you once again, check out our Facebook page, uh, Faith Community, all our social medias, especially our YouTube channel at Faith Community, and re-watch the video that Pastor Josh had of the walls of Jericho. You'll be blessed by it, and I hope this encouraged you a little bit to submit, to obey, and praise God at all times, even when it's difficult, because it will lead to victory and breakthrough. Have a great day.